Snickle B here with a let's play. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even see the name without laughing. Nico Nico Rumpa, yay! Everybody's favorite game. <laughs> yes, this is this is another fan-made game. This one, it says here, made by one girl with no life. Uh, the Tumblr was. Uh, they said their name was Sweet Bun Love. <laughs> sweet, Sweet Bun Love. <laughs> but it's a totally serious Nico B plus Dong and Ropa Sim date. <laughs> uh, this was made in Rempy, so just like the other ones. And I don't know. I'm, I'm excited. This one looks pretty damn funny. I, I can already tell. I just, <laughs> I mean, come on. New game is let's do this shit. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are too funny. I, I just, I'm so tickled that people make game, like, are making these fan games. It's just so funny. But, uh, all right, well, let's, I don't know, I don't know really what to expect. Hey, this is a fan made game for Pootie Pop, because I know we, oh, wait, no, no, this isn't him, silly, this is for Nico. <laughs> of course, we're so very alike. This is for, <laughs> this is for Nico B, also knows that guy who started the Kamehameha Bagel meme, and that got me in a hundred, what? I got me and a million other fangirls into Dongaropa and Super Dongaropa too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I I did that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> did that actually become a meme? I thought that was just sort of like that joke was just a joke between uh, the general group of people who watch this video. <laughs> I mean, it's because these ships aren't as popular as I'd like them to be, or maybe they are, and I just haven't seen them. But I'd like to personally thank Nico for making me unable to read any committed dialogue without her. <laughs> oh my god! I'm like a virus. <laughs> Once I'm inside you, I don't leave. <laughs> and also for his super funny, awesome content. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kakari. And that fangirl shit is over. Let's do this fucking thing. <laughs> yes. And also, oh, and also very uh, uh, OOC and done Robo Dude Games. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I'm ready for the shit. <laughs> bring, bring it on. You asked for it. Who would you like to date? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> are these my only two? These are what? These are the same thing. <laughs> Hi, Kakari, dude. What the hell? Son of a bitch. I have read of your choice, and I've decided not to let you have him. I'm actually not. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not actually as disappointed as you might think. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, now we're talking with the narrator, so let's. Uh, we'll give him the gum shoe voice, because that's always a good narrator voice to have. Sure, you aren't. Anyway, I'm the narrator. I have a story to tell. I'm making it up as I go, but story is a story, and the story is a fucked up romance. <laughs> Dude, how'd you know what my room looked like? Dude, look at that old keyboard. <laughs> oh, I can't believe Dongarupa 3 is out already. What? What I can't believe though is hundreds of people messaging me to play. <laughs> oh, this is so true. <laughs> Speaking of which, another one, Nico B, DR3 notice. Someone's sounding formal. This makes the 31st in the past three hours. <laughs> As you already know, Dongaropa 3 has been released in the world. What you don't know, however, is that this very world has been connected with that of Dongaropa Universe. Don't ask me how the fuck this happened because I have no goddamn clue. <laughs> <laughs> what the ball? <laughs> what the balls is this? This person sounds fucking crazy. I'm not even halfway through. What I do know, Nico, is that you're about to be visited by three very cute girls, very cute, horny, dirty whores. Wait now, for some fucking reason, in order to present that whole big, the whole big, huge end of the world thing to leak into our world, you're going to have to do some butt touching. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I thought you'd never ask. They were crazy before. They sure are now. Piggy Penguin turned into a loopy lizard. <laughs> a loopy lizard. Well, the message strangely ends here. So it seems kind of unfinished. I guess it's time to go buy the game. I've been saving, so it shouldn't shouldn't put that big of a dent in my pocket. Uh, oh, please, who goes to stores anymore? <laughs> Holy shit. Does that say $99 for some of these? Wait, is this like in another country where the currency, it's gotta be a different currency or something. These are fucking expensive. What the balls? Is there Grand Theft Auto 3 for $99? Holy shit sticks. They're, they're still selling PS2 games? <laughs> okay, let's see here. Ah, oh, damn it. And damn it, the line is long as fuck. I can't just go up and ask them to find a copy for me. As you move from shelf to shelf, you feel a strange sensation, as though someone is following you. Yeah, every time you look behind or around yourself, there is no, no one that seems to be in your business. That is until... Hey there. Ah! Oh, hi, Jackie. What's up? <laughs> you know who I am? Yeah, why would I? Wait just a second. What the? What the hell? Why is this not Grand Theft Auto three ninety nine dollars? <laughs> you must be Nico then. I was told to find someone called Nico, and if you know who I am, then it must be you, correct? <laughs> yeah, it's me. But how are you? The message. It couldn't have been true. My God. My piggy penguins have become very prophetic. <laughs> someone suddenly messaged you about this. The same happened to me. Suddenly I was next to the store, and a strange person passed me a note. Jackie holds a small piece of paper on it. Where the. I don't know where the words 
You will not be sent home until you make his make until Nico makes his choice. Fine, Nico. I honestly have no clue how to react to this. Shit like this doesn't happen in the real world. <laughs> or does it? Dude, this is this is every this is every fucking weekend for me. You don't understand. <laughs> Well, for now, I think we should stick together. After all, you might know more about this world than I do. And whoever set this up might know how to send me back home. It's not just you, though. If the message I got was correct, then two other girls from the universe are here, too. In that case, we might... We, might, we just might have to find them, yes? I showed up right when you did, so the master of all this must have to put the others in places you were planning to go. With Jogging's acting so calmly, it almost feels like whatever's happening is... is nothing to fret over. Maybe this won't... Maybe this won't be too bad. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful day. All the trees are jpeg -y and all the cars are out of focus. It's just god dang beautiful. I'm not sure walking around aimlessly is really going to do the trick, Diaki. Just trust, just trust me, Nico. I'm sure we'll come across the other girls. Maybe. We well, sound sure. I can only wonder who the girls are. Maybe Sonya, Kirigiri, or, or, or... <laughs> or the, stay with me! Stay with me, Jockey! Oh, okay. god! It won't look good can't be carrying a sleeping girl around town. <laughs> I didn't knock her. I swear to God, I didn't. <laughs> oh, you're right. Although I wouldn't mind being carried. Ooh. Jockey, over here, over here. Ooh. Abuki? What the? Hey, Jockey, he's your friend. Oh, no, this must be the Nico dude. A biggie got a note about him. Yeah, this is him. Apparently, there's one more girl we have to find, and then we can get us home. I'm not exactly confident about this whole getting you home thing. The email didn't really specify how I was supposed to do that. Well, this is a dating sim, so you probably, you probably have to... Dating sim? <laughs> oh my god, am I in a fan game right now? <laughs> Whatever, Boogie's hungry like a wolf. You should go eat some food and then get naked. Okay. That actually wouldn't be a bad idea. It's almost it's almost five after all. Nerdy dinner is never bad. <laughs> well, there's a P.F. Chang's not far from here. I know where every P.F. Chang's in the world is. <laughs> it's built into my brain now. What's P.F. Chang's? Is this a strip club? <laughs> yes, if you want it to be. Sometimes I go in there naked, so then it becomes a strip club. Uh, what? Uh, no, man, it's even better. Follow everybody, follow me. So they hopped on my back and we flew away. Well, Hula Bookie loves following the leader. Oh my god! Whoa! Wow! Is this actually the inside of a PF Changs? <laughs> I think it is actually. This is a nice looking PF Changs. Look at that statue. The PF Changs are usually nice on the inside, but like, this one looks really fat. Look at that light up there. <laughs> Hell yeah, this is my shit. This is my shit. Oh, a restaurant. I've never been to a proper one before. Was crab oh yes <laughs> yes i was hoping it'd be you <laughs> ashina boobs jacket boogie is that you what the balls uh, why didn't i show up and down or open two at all i'm so pissed <laughs> ashina oh it's been so long since i've seen you yo yo man you were like one of my one of the best <laughs> oh um, i have no clue who you even are <laughs> i got my swirly head i'm nico the savior of you three apparently <laughs> i'm here to save it, the world you're probably contacted and told to find him you're right. I just got. I just suddenly showed up here with a note between my boobs. <laughs> between my boobs, that a guy named Nico can bring me home. Between your. <laughs> Nico, let's get some food and discuss what to do next. Good idea, Chiaki. I'm motherfucking star. <laughs> I like how you guys imagine. This is what I do when I'm like just r hanging around with, like some girls. I'll be like, Yeah, I'm. I'm motherfucking starving. What the hell are we doing? Why are your clothes still on? Once everyone began eating, the plan, the planning began. But first, the girls told you how they came to be here. Abuki had just woken up from her, co her coma. Ashina was texting Chiaki while visiting her. The Future Foundation managed to salvage our files, then set up a chat system so that everyone could converse with Altigo and me if they wanted to. Uh, Abuki was still weak to stand or talk much, but she was still conscious, so Ashina began filling her, filling her in on what happened. Yeah, you see, after Nagi and his trio left the island, they saw a ship and Future Foundation members there and shifts to keep an eye on the real world survivors. Wow, this is actually surprisingly detailed. Girls explained how suddenly everything paused. Boogie's heart monitor, this clock on the wall, the bustling, bustling noise of the hospital. Yes, I know, also anyone is probably thinking. Yes, I know there's there's a lot of uh, typos and stuff in here, but the person who wrote the, wrote this was pretty much like, I know there's tele typo and spelling errors, but fuck that shit. So, <laughs> so I'm just fucking that shit. <laughs> and then Boogie just found myself in an unfamiliar place. So it was just like. Poof, we're here. Some strange person shoved notes in your guys' faces and your boobs, and now we're eating P.F. Jang's? Yep, that's pretty much it. Oh, go for face! I haven't seen that one in a long time. Yeah, I see. This is really fucking trippy, dude. I'm tripping balls. Once you finished all, all finished eating, the bill and the bill was paid. It was time to walk home. Back through my beautifully j Peggy background. Who are you going to walk home? Motherfucking Chiaki. You moved to Chiaki's side and grabbed her ass. Chiaki, what do you think about all this? You're acting as calm as always. But doesn't it just freak you out just a little bit? 
Uh, not really, no. <laughs> I'm s I'm so mother- I'm so mellow. It's all just some silly game, isn't it? To me, it seems kind of like one, and games always have some form of ending, so I'm sure this will end soon. So you're calm because you think we can beat the game and get you home. Exactly. Well, that and being in such a busy place, seeing this, I don't know everywhere I look. It's nice. It feels free. It's something I never could see. I, I thought I could see with my own eyes. Or well, that hasn't fallen apart. Whoa. I think I can understand why she's not worried about all this. Oh, the more I think about it, the sadder it seems. Oh, no. You gained a Pepsi. <laughs> you gained a Pepsi point with Chiaki. Pepsi, man. Sweet. We really made it back. Now what? How the fuck do you know what the inside of my house looks like? <laughs> Damn it. I'm gonna like lift up one of my couch cushions. There's somebody there. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh, I've been caught. Run away. Damn, Monica, we get out of my house. I peeped on you while you were pooping. And it runs away. First, you show us what your message said. And also, since it's an email, it should be useful to see who sent it. Oh, and if we, get, if we can find that person, we can ask them how to get us home. Exactly. So, Nico, can we see the message? Uh, I'm not sure you want to. <laughs> A bookie has to disagree. Of course we, we can't. Uh, we can't to see it? We, oh. we came to see it? I, I guess it could hold the, the key to bring us home. No, I mean, I'm pretty sure the person who messaged me had no idea what was going on themselves. They only hinted at what I had to do. Well, then, come on, then. I want... What do they say? If you want us to read it, then at least tell us. It's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Nico, if it could bring us home, then we want to know, no matter what it is. All right, you asked for it. Instead of saying it out loud, you opt to pulling up the message on your screen. All three girls cry around to read what the screen says. For some fucking reason, in order to prevent that whole big world, big huge end of the world thing to leak into your world, you're gonna have to do some butt touching. Yes, I told you. You're right, it's obvious that if anything, we're, they were just trying to warn you. As she said this, Chiaki began typing her response to the email. Ashina, Ashina was pondering the meaning of what that person said. Nabuki was off to explore your house. You silently are silently thankful, but none of them are questioning you about the butt touching part. <laughs> we just kind of gloss over that part for some reason. I thought that was like the most important. Nah. Any other time, you would be fully happy to comply. After all, a, a butt is a butt. But, <laughs> but, um, I mean, but. <laughs> this world, it, this whole situation still has you a bit confused and not willing to touch any butts. At least, not yet. Actually, no, a butt is a butt, and there are three relatively relatively cute girls in your hot house. Touching a butt wouldn't be bad. A butt. Oh, but wait. Aren't these girls like 17? Shit, you think to yourself. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Okay, now all that's left to do, all left to do is wait for a reply. Y'all can chill until then. For my, for now, my house is your home, I guess. Although I have a strict no clothes policy. You can play some of my games if you want, Yaki. And then, Sheena, I think there's some donuts in the kitchen. Wait, ah! Uh, why didn't you say so earlier? Wait, these are donuts and bagels. <laughs> Who do you want to spend the eating with? Let's get naked with Chiaki. Woo! You sit next to Chiaki as she rifles through your PC games. There are probably a few you might like. Nico. Yeah, uh, yeah? What's this one? Oh shit, let's not play that one. <laughs> let's. <laughs> oh shit, let's not play that one. Why not? The tile's interesting. Let's play it. Oh no, 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 that's not a game for you. You would hate it. Let's move on. Has it got boobs in it? It's a hentai game, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just so you guys know, I don't play hentai games. No, why would you think? Ah, ah. <laughs> why is Dog his name in the title? <laughs> Let's do something else. A fan made me, th made me that game a while back. It was too graphic to make a video of. <laughs> Thank God I managed to pull her away. Ah, there was so much Kameda penis, you just couldn't handle it. I gained a Pepsi point with Chiaki. Sweet. Okay, so how the hell did I end up getting kicked up, kicked out of my bed? Because Boogie called it Speed Leader. And Chiaki's taking the couch. I'm sleepy. And Sheena, you're sleeping on the floor? I'll just use a extra stress for I, I sleep. When I wake up, my back doesn't hurt. Uh, where does that leave me, though? The bathtub. <laughs> I can't sleep in there. Strong people make the most out of the hardest of situations. Suck it up, bitch. Is that a quote? No, I just made it up. <laughs> Swirl ahead, power. Arian did no good. <laughs> Boogie refused to let you sleep on her bed floor, on your on your bedroom floor with your with her sleeping in there, and there wasn't enough room on your living room floor to sleep. Unless you wanted to end up with a Sheena crammed beside you. <laughs> actually, <laughs> I was just thinking, like, actually, it sounded too bad. But for the sake of pure torture, I won't allow that. <laughs> you slept in the the bathtub that night, and it's luckily Sheena organized a morning exercise routine for everyone, so you managed to get out of a few kinks in your neck. <laughs> oh, oh, God 